Hey, welcome back, everyone. Your two hosts, Bishop Joe and Julie in Canada, Vancouver, John Ruffle, um, Jesus Freak Extraordinaire in Birmingham, England. And I believe that Bishop Joe is going to roll the ball with um, a really relevant scripture from the gospel. So, hey, take it away, Joe. Let's hear it. So this is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Then Jesus prayed this prayer. O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding the truth from those who think themselves so wise and clever and for revealing it to the childlike. Yes, Father, it has pleased you to do it this way. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. Woo! You know, That's a heavy it's, it's, that's a heavy one, Joe. It <laughs> is. It is. Wow. Can you, re special can you read it again? Can you just read it over again for us so you really can sink in? I, you know, I think we hear things, we don't hear things. But Then Jesus himself prayed this prayer. Oh, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding the truth from those who think themselves so wise and clever. And for revealing it to the child, childlike. Yes, Father, it pleased you to do it this way. Wow. Okay, take it away, Joe. That's amazing. I'm thinking of it like the understanding of this understanding of woke. This understanding woke. of woke, woke, yes, woke. <laughs> yes, yes, because because it sounds so good, but it's very it's very proudful, isn't it? It makes people think they're so clever. They've they've got a disgruntlement about something, but they think them so clever, and it's playing in politics at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. You can't say certain things. You can't say certain things, and people are wondering why. Yeah. Well, this is a scripture that God's really put through here with this. What the woke does is it puts people in place of God. It says that we've got this thing and this thing and this thing that we need to address. And we're going to get the more disgruntled you are, the more the more upset about something you are, the more that this is going to be handled. Uh, right. But God says to be uh, grateful and thankful. And it says to forgive. These are the things that are not in the world culture. The reality is, is all of us have had stuff that have happened in our lives. And this goes from, 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 from just being born to just almost to dying. You know, John, for years I took care of the dying. And I saw even at time of death, people with disgruntlement. And, and uh, you know, there's never a better time than right now to give those things and be thankful to God. When mm -hmm. I hear Kamala Harris going, oh, we need to be woke, or we need to be more woke, and, and, and basing her, uh, her uh, understanding on this understanding of woke, the problem with it is, is the woke culture doesn't care about uh, certain aspects of other things. It can only focus on a few things at a time. Okay, well, so let's, let, I, let's just unpack woke for a minute, because it's interesting. Okay, yeah. you're, there, you're there in Canada, I'm here in England, right? And we haven't mm -hmm. had a lot of time over the last week to really, because you, you, we're on completely different time zones, right? And we haven't yeah. had a lot of time to share or even prepare for this interview and yet we're both seeing the same thing that this wokeness and i would describe that as being like everything you feel or think or wish to believe about yourself is what is your truth it's like your truth and my truth and then if you don't uh, if you don't get your truth your way your selfishness then you're going to be up in arms and you do things like what happened in britain a couple of weeks ago and start doing craziness i can't even talk about it because if i talk about it all the social media is going to shut me down so i can't even mention it but a couple of weeks ago we had some stuff happening bad stuff OK, so this is this is an example of woke culture, of shutting people down, of of not listening to not seeking truth. You know, and it's like it's this simplicity. First of all, Jesus prayed that. So, hey, that's heavy right there. The gospel passage you just shared. Jesus prayed to the father. So this is intense. Right. And then he says, thank you for revealing it to the babes. And hiding it from the high and the lofty ones. 
you know, and everybody thinks they're wise in their own eyes. And this culture, president or former president, if you rather have it that way, former President Donald Trump said during his interview with Elon Musk, a great two hour talk, by the way, if you haven't heard it, guys, go and listen to it. He said that the greatest challenge is not global warming. It's the threat of nuclear destruction. And how right he was, Elon Musk agreed with him. You know, it's like we're on the cusp of potentially World War Three, and people are carrying on in the bubble of unreality. It's what it, you know, but what it is, isn't it? Well, yes, I think I think where where um, I, I have a concern with Harris and Waltz, uh, with that that duo. What happens is <laughs> is is that um, I, have to, I have to laugh. <laughs> When they go on stage, you know, I honestly think, are they smoking dope before they come on stage? Because they prance about the Harris Waltz. <laughs> it's crazy. But I see the demonic in it, and I'm not calling them demon possession, so please don't get the wrong idea. But I see the demonic in it because there's a lot of people, millenniums and so forth, who actually attach that and identify with that type of wokeness of hey everything's fine apart you know plus camilla harris is going very close to using a <laughs> slogan but i won't go there you guys you know this thing of um uh, what is it now uh <laughs> You talk and I'll think of what it is, okay? You tell me what okay. you think. Yeah, yeah. I want to also talk to those who, are, who who don't profess to be Christians on on uh, your program as well, John, because I want to talk about this woke thing because what happens is is that only certain aspects get addressed. So the reality of it is, is that, to be honest, I... I or you or somebody else would not know how to run this country. And it takes a lot of uh, intelligence. It takes a lot of planning. It takes a lot of uh, things. And it takes people with a, a strong personality to be able to govern a, a country with things that matter for the people. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, identity politics, uh, other things, getting to other things, um, you cannot get into truth of what a country needs on those bases. You need to be able to have an understanding of foundational issues within a country. So for instance, in, in Canada here, uh, we have gone very well. Uh, and and the problem with that is all our laws are being based on these things, but but then everything else changes with it. And what we've seen in our country is we've seen a, a total shift to a point of where uh, certain things that were working before are not anymore. So, for instance, um, and it looks crazy uh, because what happens is certain. Um, certain aspects are now taking over our laws so where we were able to before have rational moral arguments and the law was based on uh years of deliberation with different lawyers with different uh judges with different legal stuff are now being changed to adapt to let's say um personal preferences. Uh, but the problem is, is these laws where they seem to be uh, very fastened and very straight for uh, decades and decades, sometimes over a hundred, a couple hundred years even, uh, had lasted. Now they're being changed again and again and again, because um, no longer what woke does and what it says is that that what is today is is fine for today but there's going to be something added tomorrow yeah, well it's situation ethics it's like whatever your ethical thing is going to be useful for for today and tomorrow because okay bottom line is new world order satan is attempting to rule this world and he hates jesus he hates jews he hates anything to do with true faith and morality and so new world order is what's coming in and donald trump isn't playing the game 
He isn't playing the Obama game. He's not playing the Clinton game. He's not playing the Kamala Harris joke game. You know, if you want to hear proper politics, listen to any of the speeches that J.G. Vance running as BP has 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 done in the last couple of weeks. He is absolutely amazing. And as much as CNN and all the other networks try to trip him up, he comes up time and time and again with rational arguments. But the thing is, as you say, with the woke, rationality goes out the window. And by the way, we're going to be going out the window in two minutes because we've only got two minutes yeah. left of recording time. Um, but we need to have, okay, no, what we need to have, this faith in Jesus doesn't live inside a church. We go to the church building to worship and adore our God, but it's unrealistic to expect everybody to come flock into your church just because you've got cookies and donuts after the service. The Sikhs are far better at hospitality than almost all Christians are. If you go to any Godwa and you walk in there, you will not get out without being offered food. They got huge kitchens, huge cooking pots, 24-7 going on. Now that should be a conviction for us as Christians of how we can run um, our mission. I don't know what that's going to do with woke, but there you are. That's <laughs> one hour, 20 minutes, one minute, 20 minutes, one minute, 20 seconds left, Joel. So you take it away. Well, I think as we come back to this this verse and uh, out of a rabbit trail, um, we 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 understand <laughs> that uh, that that we being wise in our own eyes, all that does is lead to foolishness and mm -hmm. and destruction. But being wise in the Lord's eyes, it uh, doesn't. Um, and 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 that we need the Lord's wisdom uh, in in that, and we need we need prayer back uh, in in the understanding of how. We operate our lives, and and if you're not a uh, a Christian, I'm sure you're seeing what's going on, and you're going, hmm, these things are making sense, starting to make sense yeah. that there is a spiritual warfare going on. That's right, uh, Joel. Uh, we're going to continue yeah. this. Stay tuned, guys, because we're going to have more from Bishop Joel and myself, John Ruppel, later on. God bless Thanks. you. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for watching.